Here's a comment left to me from a lady on the video where I described how Miss Andrus' mentality is created in men. Please, Queen, can you speak about relationships between boys and mothers? I have two sons. I'm having trouble believing this about them, but not other men. That is of no surprise to me, because when you birth boys, there is a cord that is created and connected to women and their sons that psychologically manipulate women into catering to their sons, creating a codependent cord where they don't see their sons the same way they see other males. This core connecting causes women to self-sacrifice to ensure male survival, which negatively impacts male development. When you birth boys, male fetuses leave Y chromosomal DNA scattered across the female brain in multiple regions. Bearing sons can alter your mind. Male microchemerism in the human female brain. There's a clip going around from the Real Life Street Stars episode when they asked me if I had sons, how would I raise them? That women need to cut the cord around six or seven years old. And a lot of people were up in arms, but they're up in arms because they have no knowledge of male development. It's the same women who coddle their sons and then complain about the codependent nature or behavior of someone else's son that they're trying to date while they're raising their own sons the same exact way. When you look out into the world, it is evident that women do not know how to raise male children. So the opinions of a woman about how to raise male children when they don't do any study and they are responding to the effects of male DNA scattered across their brain I don't listen to them and their opinions are worthless to me, just as their opinions are worthless to the males whom they try to raise.